Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll get to discover little known facts about every single country on this planet. In today's episode, we'll talk about the state of South Dakota, as part of the series dedicated to the United States of America. Before we get into it, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel. In return, you'll get to explore the hundreds of videos that are already up, plus two brand new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. As you can imagine, the area that is now South Dakota has been inhabited by humans for thousands of years. It was the Sioux Nation that dominated most of these lands when the first Europeans started to settle down. The main reason why by the late 19th century the settlement intensified was a gold rush, the Black Hills Gold Rush. The discovery of gold brought thousands of miners in the area, even though it was legally Indian territory and thus off-limits for Europeans. Add to this the construction of railroads from the east and you can see why this gold rush triggered a number of Indian wars, which culminated with the now famous Wounded Knee Massacre, where more than 150 disarmed Lakatan men, women and children were killed by US Army soldiers. South Dakota is host to the geographic center of the United States. This might not be so obvious when looking at a map, but keep in mind that the complicated calculations take into account both Alaska and Hawaii. The city of Belfouche is recognized to be the geographic center of the 50 states, and there is a marker placed so you can take pictures if you find yourself in these places. But don't boast with that picture too much, because the actual sensor is found nearly 32 kilometers north of the city, but you'd have to do a bit of trespassing to find the real deal, as it's on private property. One of the most famous icons representing the United States of America is in South Dakota. The exquisite Mount Rushmore National Memorial was carved into the site of a granite mountain in the Black Hills between 1927 and 1941. It was constructed to attract tourists to this remote area and it worked. About 2 million people visit this landmark every year. Mount Rushmore features four US presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. One amazing fact to keep in mind is that, should humans ever go extinct, Mount Rushmore would be one of our longest lasting marks on this earth, as it will take several million years for the faces to disappear due to erosion. Unless, of course, an asteroid or a nuclear missile don't destroy it first. Are you the type of person that doesn't like crowds? Are you longing for some alone time? Then consider moving to South Dakota. With a total population of 865,000, this state is ranked as the fifth least populated of all the 50 states. On average, you'll only find about 4 people per square kilometer. And their capital city, Pierre, isn't doing much better. It's the second smallest American capital by population with less than 14,000 residents. Add to this the fact that much of the state is covered by flat grassland, including the Great Plains, and you've got yourself a great place where you can enjoy some quality time with yourself. Over the years, the Badlands National Park in southwestern South Dakota has yielded a treasure trove of fossils that date back as far as 35 million years ago. In fact, one of history's most famous dinosaurs, Sue the T-Rex was discovered near the Badlands in 1990. At 12 meters long and almost 4 meters high at the hips, she's considered to be the largest, best preserved and most complete T-Rex ever found. Thanks to this specimen, we know a whole lot more about the anatomy of the world's most famous dinosaur species. But don't go packing your bags yet. The dinosaur is no longer in the Badlands, it's in the Field Museum in Chicago, where she's part of the institution's permanent collections. During the Black Hills Gold Rush, prospectors settled in lawless frontier towns like Deadwood, where brothels, gambling and drinking were rampant and most arguments were settled with a shooting match. 
Deadwood is one of the most famous examples and in fact, the town's rough past inspired HBO's television series bearing the same name. Founded illegally in the 1870s on Indian lands, Deadwood was notoriously dangerous, a place where murder was common. Basically, it was as wild west as it could be. Deadwood's gold rush architecture is very well preserved and today the entire city is a national historic landmark. Constant movement of the tectonic plates makes it very difficult to find very old rocks as the surface is constantly eroded, buried, melted down and recycled. But if you wish to touch with your own hands rocks that are over 1.2 billion years old, you need to come to South Dakota, specifically the Palisades State Park. The park features cliffs and rock formations eroded out of pink Sioux quartzite exposed by glacial erosion. These rocks are dated to be at least 1.2 to 1.7 billion years old formed in a time when the Earth's atmosphere was still changing and accumulating oxygen due to photosynthesis, complex life was just starting to appear and sexual reproduction was becoming a thing. Now if that doesn't impress you, I don't know what does. So these were 7 facts about South Dakota. I hope you enjoyed the video and will leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts and comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook or Twitter. You can offer your support even more by visiting my Patreon page and becoming a Patron. I hope to see you next time. Bye.